Brings you up to date. Emergency services have issued this advice to those facing or potentially facing the fire front. Residents in the 27 suburbs on alert are urged to return to their homes and fill baths with water. Emergency services also request hoses be connected that will reach all corners of your house. Store flammable liquids away from the house, close in open eaves and the space under your house, block down pipes and fill your gutters with water. Use water to dampen all areas on the side of the house facing the fire. Current water restrictions do not apply. As a precautionary measure, evacuation centres have been opened at Phillip College and Lake Ginandera College. Act 2 AGL says the fires have caused severe disruption to Canberra's water, electricity and sewerage services. A number of homes are without power and it's unlikely to be restored within the next 12 hours. Meantime, the Weather Bureau says firefighters across the ACT are facing an uphill battle. Conditions over the coming days largely remaining hot and windy. Today's top in the Territory was a scorching 37 degrees. That, coupled with fresh to strong west to northwesterlies, has made it near impossible for firefighters to gain control of the blazes raging in and around the ACT. The Weather Bureau says the most significant factor at present is the timing of the southeast to easterly change expected. The current forecast suggests it should arrive around 8 p.m. tonight, providing a noticeable drop in temperatures and an increase in humidity. However, there continues to be little or no chance of any rain. Tomorrow's forecast top for Canberra is 34 degrees. Not quite as hot as today, but a very high fire danger still exists, while a total fire ban remains in place until Tuesday night. Winds should be less tomorrow, slightly improving conditions for fire crews. But the Bureau warns of another bad day on Monday, with temperatures expected to go well into the high 30s. There's a small chance of isolated showers on Tuesday, but nothing of any great significance. Fiona Deer, Wind News. As it stands, this is the fire situation. 500 firefighters are tonight battling the biggest blazes ever seen in the capital. 36 homes have been destroyed and over 30,000 hectares of National Park have gone up in smoke as massive fires roar through the territory. News just a hand of unconfirmed reports of at least one fatality and several burns victims being flown to the Canberra Hospital. That's all in our special bushfire bulletin. We'll have special updates throughout the evening. I'm Tony Linus and we'll see you tomorrow night. Good night. A firestorm wipes out dozens of homes in Canberra. I've got num numerous houses alive here. Get me some more help, please. And residents evacuated from the nearby snowfields as a firewall closes in.
Good evening. Also tonight, Darren Lehman rubbed out for five matches because of that racial slur. But first, the worst imaginable bushfire emergency is rapidly unfolding and changing in the suburbs of Canberra, where 36 houses are confirmed lost, 30 more are believed to have been destroyed, and many, many more are under threat. A series of massive blazes ripped into the western suburbs this afternoon, where fire crews were hopelessly outgunned, and tonight there is no sign of the crisis easing. Nigel Blunden begins our coverage. Residents had been warned to brace for the worst, but no one expected a blaze like this. Flames leaping high into the air, pushed along by 50 knot gusting winds. I have flame height probably over 100 feet on Warragam and Drive, impacting houses over. If I can get anything... this is a rare situation. We need some pumpers here urgently. Virtually all of Canberra's southwestern suburbs lay in the path of the most severe fire in the Territory's history. Consent, we've lost total visibility. Despite the best efforts of firefighters, little could be done. The ferocious blaze consuming everything in its path. Having laid waste to bushland and pine plantations south of the city, houses were now in its sights. We've got houses aligned everywhere and we really need some more, more structural protection. Residents and local wildlife evacuated the area, the intensity of the flames soon forcing firefighters to retreat. Dozens of homes in the southern suburbs of Duffy and Girilang have already been confirmed lost, the ACT's chief minister declaring a state of emergency. The ACT is facing uh, its most uh, severe test in the face of uh, very significant fires, the most severe test in the history of the ACT uh, through a combination of circumstances, uh, uh, the heat, uh, the drought, uh, and the fact we've had these fires raging now for over a week. The Ericsson air cranes, so often the saviour, made almost useless by the intense smoke. Most of the helicopters are in fact on the ground, they can't fly under these conditions. Reinforcements are heading to Canberra, but there's little good news in sight. Temperatures predicted to again top 30 degrees tomorrow, with a wind change placing homes to the south and northwest of the national capital in the path of the blaze. The extent of the fire at the moment is far beyond the capacity of the resources we've got here, and we've pulled right back to providing uh, protection to assets only. Nigel Blunden, National 9 News. Nigel joins us now from Canberra. And Nigel, we're hearing that lives may have been lost in the fires. Is there any confirmation of that? Kim, let's uh, firstly say and stress that it is an unconfirmed report that uh, a person believed to have been in the southwestern suburb of Duffy in a house uh, may well have died this afternoon, but police are yet to confirm that, and that must be stressed. Also, three fire trucks are, are to believed to have been burned in this blaze this afternoon, and there are some serious concerns for the whereabouts of the crew there. But uh, again, both, uh, and uh, this is evolving by the minute, both of those reports are unconfirmed. Right, how are fire crews coping at this stage? Well, they've been totally overcome uh, by this blaze. Uh, they evacuated uh, just uh, minutes after residents were told to uh, leave the southwestern suburbs of Canberra in particular. Uh, they've been overcome by the blazes. The air cranes that are so often uh, used in these blazes are useless because of the smoke that's uh, surrounding Canberra. At this stage, there are some reinforcements, we understand, coming down from New South Wales to help with uh, the dramatic scenes that are confronting them. 36 houses have been confirmed to have been lost in the southwest of the city. It's actually believed that it may well be close to double or more of that uh, in today alone and uh, quite an extraordinary situation that's evolving as we speak. All right Nigel thanks for the update. Thanks Kim.